So today I'm at Powder Mills, uh, which is between two bridges and post bridge, a remote location because uh, the job of Powder Mills, um, as the name suggests, was to make gunpowder. And with all the risks that that entailed, um, one didn't want it too close to other buildings. Uh, there's a huge amount to see here, um, especially lots of the um, old buildings and of course uh, the two chimneys which are, uh, are still standing. Um, so you can spend uh, quite some time wandering around here and looking at all the items and, and working out perhaps uh, what part they played in the manufacture of gunpowder. The buildings that you see when you walk down to Powder Mills were originally the accommodation and office blocks for the factory that was making the gunpowder. Um, now, of course, there's a pottery there and the bunkhouse and a number of other private buildings. So 1844 is when work began here. And if you look around, you'll see um, all of the large stone buildings with very thick walls. Um, it's said that um, they had very weak roofs, so if there was an explosion, um, the force of the blast would go up vertically. Um, this is interesting because it's, be, it's to be contrasted with uh, the pagodas at Orford Ness, uh, which were used uh, for developing a rather more frightening explosive device, um, something worth googling if you don't know it. And um, they of course had very very heavy concrete lids uh, that would fall um, when the pillars were blown out and um, contain the explosion. Uh, but here of course um, you'll see uh, more than 100 years before that time, um, a different design. So what was the need for gunpowder, you might ask? Well, in this area famous for its mining and quarrying, uh, there would have been a very, very large trade in gunpowder for all the blasting work, and powder mills would have tried its best to get that trade. So here you see the proving mortar, uh, used to test the effectiveness of the gunpowder. I rather like the term proving, as it's the same usage of the word as the exception that proves the rule. In other words, um, test the rule, or in this case, uh, test the effectiveness of the gunpowder. Underneath the short barrel, you'll see a wooden wedge. Um, that could have controlled um, the elevation, and um, as far as azimuth, in other words, sideways movement was concerned, I guess they just kicked the trundle round or left it pointing in the, the same direction. It's somewhat difficult to find. Um, you have to go back up from the powder mills buildings towards the road and it's sort of hidden behind all the gorse etc but if you come on the far side of it you get a really good view and it's well worth seeing. Standing on the delightful Clapper Bridge you can see the water and of course this was really important as a source of power for driving the water wheels that would have powered the mills that uh, ground up the material to make the gunpowder. So, powder mills, a safe place now. But just to say, when I was filming the proving mortar, uh, there was a large English adder waiting. Um, I managed to just get a photograph of its tail as it scooted away. So perhaps all the dangers haven't quite left powder mills yet.